Hello, it's Tess Crawley here, clinical and forensic psychologist, director of Dr. Tess Crawley and associate psychology practice in Hobart and Launceston. Now, today is the 10th of September, which is World Suicide Prevention Day. So I'm sitting at the beach, which is um, a place that I have always, since a child, found to be a place of solace and comfort and quiet and I think a lot of people feel that about being near the sea um, and I'm here today thinking about the fact that it is World Suicide Prevention Day and thinking about not only what does that mean to me but what can I offer to you guys in terms of information around suicide prevention. Now um, years ago I used to run uh, workshops um, gatekeeper workshops um, and gatekeeper is a program um, that skills up community members to know what to do and how to respond when someone is feeling suicidal um, so I could talk for days and days and days to be honest about um, all sorts of information around suicide but I thought I would stick to three key things today um, the first key thing that I wanted to mention it is it is World Suicide Prevention Day it's also 10 years since my family lost two women very close to us to suicide. And so it's a, an opportunity for me to think back on those women and to think back on that time in our lives and um, the impact that that had on us as a family and the, um, the individuals in my family closest to those women too. And I guess, you know, thinking back on, on how they continue to uh, feel the impact 10 years later um, of those women's loss to our family. And so I tell you that, not to tell you too much about my personal life, but to, to let you know that th for those of you out there who've been affected by suicide, um, many, many, many families have experienced what you've experienced and what you're going through. Um, and there is a great swell, I guess, of support in the community if, if you know where to find it and know how to find it. Um, the first step is, of course, um, you can have a look at the Beyond Blue website and um, that has all sorts of links associated with getting some support. So no matter where you are, even if you're not in Australia, the Beyond Blue website is a good uh, source of um, information and resources to support you in your understanding of what suicide is, how it happens, uh, why it happens and, um, and what sort of uh, support you can seek after that. The second key message I wanted to impart today was if you are somebody close to somebody who you are worried about, what to do. Um, now coming up soon we've got Are You OK Day. Now Are You OK Day is all about the same message that I want to give you now, which is it's OK to ask the question. If you're worried about somebody, if you're feeling that they're at risk of harming themselves, you're feeling that they're at risk of suicide, it's okay to ask them. But asking the question, you're not going to make them kill themselves. That's a really important message. And there's a big, there's a lot of mythology around suicide. Um, and one of those key myths is that by talking about it, will prompt someone to act on it. So when you're worried about someone, that's your instinct telling you that something's not right. So it's okay to reach out to that person and to say, hey buddy, I'm really worried about you. Are you okay? Is there something going on that you'd like to talk to me about? I'm a bit worried that you might be at risk of hurting yourself or killing yourself. Can you just let me know how you're traveling? Um, and then listen. So ask and listen. They're the two key things. It's not your job to fix it, not your job to to solve their problems but if you can ask that question and if you can listen while they talk to you you've done a world of good the next step of course is supporting them um, if they are feeling suicidal and they tell you that they are the next step is to support them to get some help and that might be just as simple as, as encouraging them or to call their GP or sitting with them while they call their GP or um, <clears throat> if it is an acute crisis take them to their GP or take them to the hospital but um, at the end of the day, you don't want to be kicking yourself for forever regretting not asking that question and opening the door. So that gatekeeper program I used to teach is all about opening the door, being the keeper of that, that gate of information support and opening that door so that communication can happen. 
the third key message I wanted to pass on today was to those of you who might be feeling that you're at risk of suicide or self-harm. And that's the, the, the message for me today is twofold for you. First of all, seek some help. It's okay to not be feeling okay. It's okay to need help. And as a species, we are a social species. We are designed to talk to one another. So if you need help, find it from somebody. Now, if you don't feel that you've got anybody close to you personally that you can talk to or that you can trust with your feelings, then talk to a professional. Now, the Beyond Blue website has a phone number that you can call. They also have an absolutely fantastic app called Beyond Now. And the Beyond Now app is all about helping you to design a safety plan for you to get you through step by step, day by day. But ask for help, seek help, talk to somebody. The second part of my message to you is linked to that. All feelings, all emotions, everything we experience in life is transient. So no matter how bad you're feeling now, there will be a time in the future where you're not feeling the exact same feelings you're feeling now. They will subside or they'll wane or they'll pass in some way or other. It is really important to hold on to that notion of transience. So if I'm sitting here at the beach, and I'll just show you. If we use the metaphor of the ocean's waves as a symbol for transience, we think about our feelings coming in and overwhelming us and they sometimes wash over us and we feel like we're going to crash or we feel like we're going to drown or we feel we're going to just go under and never be able to get up again. If we watch those waves as a metaphor for those feelings, we see they do crash, they do come in, they come in pretty hard sometimes, but then they pull back again. So the key message for you is holding on to this notion of transience. These feelings will come and then they'll pass. Okay. If we can just keep putting one foot in front of the other and allow for that transience to occur, if we can hold on just that little bit longer. So that's why it's so important for you to talk to somebody, to engage in something that might be a distraction for you or to um, reach out to a friend or reach out to a professional service, something that might help you pull through those feelings just that little bit longer to buy you some time because time is what you need to allow that transience to happen. Now, if you're stuck in your feelings and you feel that you can't cope, you feel that you can't hold on any longer, ring triple zero or ask someone that you trust to ring for you um, the ambulance services, even the police, um, are aware of the risk of suicide in our community. And if you're telling them that that's how you're feeling and that you're frightened, that you can't withhold uh, or can't stand up against those feelings, then they'll, they'll come and support you. Um, but I also do recommend ringing Lifeline and I do recommend ringing um, the Beyond Blue support and I also highly recommend downloading that Beyond Now app. So as I said before, I could talk about suicide prevention for a very, very long time because it is a very important topic. There's so much in it um, as a community uh, that we could be aware of. Um, but today I will leave you with the message that um, I guess my work is always based on the element of hope. I do what I do because I live with the hope that what I do will help others, that people can be helped, that change is possible, even when you don't believe it yourself. So I'll leave that message with you today while I sit and watch the waves a little bit longer. And uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Thanks very much, bye bye.